Okay, uh, cost of dismantlement, removal, and site restoration. Okay, and you know that this is a future event, right? But it, the future obligations is going to happen in, you know, in the in ten years, twenty years, right? When you you eventually uh, have to deal with this, this site restoration. Um, but you have to do a calculation to recognize this obligation, uh, calculate the present value of this future cash flow, right? That's part of your cost. So basically, uh, you want to consider you want to consider the future obligations to remove uh, certain uh, things, restore the sites, right? Uh, because of certain uh, leg legislative legislative requirements, right? And this cost, of course, is the present value of the future cash flows that you pay for the for all this cost has to be part of the initial cost, okay? And this cost will depreciate along with the useful life of the asset. I will give you one example, give you one example. <clears throat> ABC began developing an open paid copper and zinc mine in Northern British Columbia in April of 2019 as part of the regulatory approval to develop and to extract minerals from the site, the company committed to restore the mine site. So at the end of the production, when you exhaust the minerals, you know, you can't just leave it, right? You can't just walk away, right? Now they committed, right, to restore the site, okay? Given the nature of the open pit mining, it's not possible to fully restore the site to its original state, Nevertheless, the commitment requires the company to replant the area such that it will be suitable for wildlife and the recreation, hiking, paddling, actually. An independent environmental consultant hired by mining regulators has estimated that the future site restoration cost will amount to 52 million at the end of the production life of the mine. Management estimate that the mine will begin production in the spring of 2021 and continue for 30 years. Uh, the, there's a reason why I highlight this sentence. I'm going to read it again. The management estimates that the mine will begin production in the spring 2021 and continue for 30 years. ABC has a March 31st year end and the incremental borrowing rate, borrowing rate of 10%. Okay. Required, compute the present value of the future site restoration cost as of spring 2019. Right, so the in the future, right in the future, uh, you know, thirty years after twenty twenty one, you have to pay for this restoration cost fifty two million dollars, and you have to discount that future cash flows to the present value as the present value of current cost. Okay, so uh, my result is this. Uh, so the incremental borrowing rate, right? That's the rate we are using for the discount rate. So one plus 10% power to 32. Why 32? Uh, because they are talking about as of spring of 2019, okay? And the site will open 30 years after spring of 2021. 20, you see why it's 30 plus two? 30 is the years of the operation. Two is the difference, timing difference between spring 2021 and the spring 2019, okay? So this is 32, okay? So this is easy, right? 52 minutes discounted by one plus 10% power 32, we get around $2.5 million, okay? So that's your current liability, part of your asset. So we are done with the first one, compute the present value of the future site restoration cost, compute the amount of depreciation expense related to the site restoration costs for the years ending 2020, 2021, 2022, using, using street line method. Okay, so street line amortization, easy, right? The amount of the, amount of the uh, restoration cost is two close to 2.5 million. Now tell me what's the amount of depreciation for 2020?
Anyone? If you start pick up, pick up your pen, you are wrong. <laughs> what is the uh, amortization for 2020? Tw for 2020? Zero. Zero, that's right. Because zero does not need a required calculation. Um, why is it zero? Because the mine hasn't begun production and can't, hasn't been amortized yet. Very good. So you haven't used the mine yet, right? What is the nature of depreciation? It's a matching oh. principle, recognizing the cost of using the mine, right? Right? The nature of depreciation is that uh, you recognize the cost for using that asset, right? That's the nature of the depreciation. When you have, when you start using the mine, you generate a revenue, the matching principle, you have to match expenses with the revenue. Now, 2020, there's no revenue. No revenue, don't match expenses, right? So depreciation expenses is zero for 2020. What about 2021? Sorry, I think I asked wrong. I think ending 2019, 2020. Okay, so in 2019, the depreciation is zero. 2020, the depreciation is zero. Okay, the begin the production in spring of 2021. So what's the, uh, what is the uh, amortization depreciation for 2021? Zero point eight million. Oh, oh, good. You already did the calculation. Let's take a look. Okay, so I I got uh, I divided by thirty years. So this is may not be accurate. So what's your number? Uh, zero point eight million. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Close. Zero point eight million, right? Yeah. So that's this number. Yeah. Uh, so basically. It can be used for 30 years. You divide it by 30, right? Straight line amortization. Straight line amortization, right? Okay, question C. Prepare a schedule showing the interest that will accrue on the site restoration liability each fiscal year from April 2019 to the end of the expected life to time. Remember liabilities, when you have liabilities, there is interest expenses, right? Is that right? So you use your liability um, value times interest rate. That's the interest expenses, right? Does that make sense? When you have liabilities, you have to recognize the interest expenses, right? Because the time value, right? The time value of money. Is that right? Okay, I will show you the, the, the result. So your opening liability, which is this uh, present value, okay, close to 2.5 million. And every year, the interest rate is 10%, right? So 10% of this, your interest expenses will be 246, 285, okay? Did you pay for this? Did you use cash to pay for this? No, right? No. You only paid uh, 52 million at the very end of the day, right? So this one will be an increase to your balance. So now at the end of the first year, your liability will increase, right? Because you recognize the interest expenses that you didn't pay. So now the balance is 2.7 million liability. The year after, 10% of this. 10% of the new liability balance is 27913. And then this one will add it to it. So you keep adding this after, after 30 years. What's your balance? Can anyone tell me? After 30 52 years, million. Yeah, your balance should be 52 million. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because otherwise, how did you go from 2.5 million to 
52 million in the end, right? Right? So, so this is the interest expenses, okay? Okay, so what's my general entry? So in the first year, I'm gonna recognize the mine site rest, restoration cost for 2.462847, and that's my obligation. I credit my liability, obligation for future site restoration. And in the first year, I recognize the interest expenses, 246, 285, and I recognize my increase in the liability for the same amount. And in the second year, the similar general entries, but slightly higher interest expenses. In the last year, um, you know, uh, sorry, in the 2022, um, you know, again, similar general entries, but the, the, the amount of interest expenses is just increasing every year because your opening balance of liability is increasing, right? Are we done? Are we okay with this entry? Yep. Sorry, uh, just a quick question. For 2019, you did the, it's just zero? Is that what it is? Oh, zero. You didn't do anything I, with I, it? Sorry, it's my bad. I forgot to enter the, this amount to- uh, Oh, you forgot, so, so what would, oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, that's the uh, initial liability, right? Initial balance of the uh, future site restoration liability. Okay. Are we finished? Did we miss anything here in the general entry? Okay. Uh, the in no interest expenses there. Sorry, I can Sean, could you please speak up a little bit? I cannot hear you very well. Uh, you're gonna close the obligation uh, account when you uh, expense the restoration expense uh, eventually. Okay, yeah. So in 30 years, right, at the end of the 30 years, you are going to close the obligation. You debit obligation, for uh, 52 million, you credit the cash uh, for 52 million, right? But in, did we miss anything for the 2022? And you know the way why I ask you this way, I mean, we missed something, right? That's why I'm asking. So what did we miss? The depreciation. Thank you, Tim. Yeah, depreciation. So you debit depreciation expenses for 82095, you credit the cumulative depreciation, mine site restoration cost, okay? So going forward every year, you should have a pair of entry. One entry is recognizing the interest expense. The other entry is recognizing the depreciation because initially you set up an eyesight, right? That's your eyesight and you set up a liability. So when you have a liability, you should think about the interest expenses. When you have eyesight, you should think about depreciation. Okay, are we okay with this example? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so this is a very good example, right? You can see that um, even though this one is like in 32 years, right? You are, it's gonna cost you 52 million. You have to recognize it now right, to recognize this liability and eyesight, okay?